From vintage or handmade jewelry to furniture and art online, you can find it on Etsy. Starting last Monday, thousands of vendors on the popular e-commerce platform began protesting the company's fee increases. This has been a big talker. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Brace spoke with Etsy sellers right here in Utah about the changes they would like to see the platform make. 1.5% doesn't sound like a huge increase. But to local Etsy vendors, it's a big deal. It is. Cole Crapo has been selling his Onyx lamps and chess sets on Etsy for four years. I always thought Etsy was a really good platform to test to see if people liked what I was selling. And so for me, Etsy was kind of an opportunity to be able to test and see whether people actually liked my product. And it's been doing well on there, and so I've just kind of kept it going. With Etsy increasing selling fees twice in the last year, Crapo is starting to consider other platforms. To me, I think it does make it so I want to move more of my stuff more onto like Shopify stores and stuff like that, because it gets more and more to the point where it's harder to make a profit. Kyle Moon has been selling his reclaimed wood pieces on Etsy for 10 years now. If they continue, I, there's, there's a point. Although right now, Etsy's less expensive than Amazon. Um, there, are, there are a couple of other sites that we've been on, and Etsy's still, even with the increases, quite a bit less than they are. From wood floors to bed frames, Moon says he still sees the highest amount of revenue from selling the big things out of his Murray store. But he sees the highest number of sales every month from Etsy. <laughs> That was regular cash flow every week, money coming in, and I liked that. I liked having that regular check. Although Moon did not participate in last week's strike against the platform, he sympathizes with other vendors. Given what I see of a lot of other sellers, I can understand why they're frustrated. And, you know, they're clearly running on tighter margins than I am. At one point, Moon was in the top 10% of sellers on Etsy. And even at that, I got very little attention from Etsy itself. There doesn't feel like there's any interaction between Etsy and their sellers. In response to the strike, Etsy said in an emailed statement that the fee increase would help the company, quote, increase our investments in areas outlined in the petition, including marketing, customer support, and removing listings that don't meet our policies. In Murray, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.